Hello beautiful internet family, Danny from danstube.tv and if you're new around these parts then you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. I've made it my mission to help tech enthusiasts unlock their creative potential with technology and today we're checking out a monitor. But this monitor is actually really unique, like I've tested monitors in the past, I've played around with them and it's kind of got to the point where I'm like, yeah, cool, you know, like what else can a monitor offer you? But I think we've got something really exciting here that actually stands out over the monitors I've tested in the past. It's the ThinkVision P27H-20. I know it's not the sexiest name in the world. I don't get why model numbers are just numbers with letters. You know, we could come up with something a little bit sexier, but anyway, that's just the way it is nowadays. It is a 27 inch monitor and it's beautiful. This is a QHD display. That's 2560 by 1440. It's a gorgeous display and it's a near edgeless display. I love the fact that we just have almost no bezels now and it's a four side near edgeless display. It honestly just looks gorgeous and they've done such a remarkable job of cutting out bezels. So it's just all screen, no bezel. Now you might be thinking to yourself, how can a monitor be any different to the monitor I already have at home? Like, why should I care about this? You know, is it just a high-end monitor? Is that kind of all it offers? Or does it have lots of other functions and features that most other monitors just don't offer nowadays? Well, I was kind of in that first boat where I just thought, well, it's a monitor. Like, how can the monitor space advance that much further than it already has? It seems to have hit a threshold. Well, I was completely wrong. The vertical stand has a ton of options. It's extremely fluid and flexible, and you can put it in almost any position you want it to be in. You can swivel, tilt, and pivot the monitor itself, and that stand is extremely rigid. It's so strong, but as you slide it up, it just glides into the position you want it to be in, and it just holds that position nicely. You can also adjust the monitor and tilt it so it's facing up to the ceiling. So for example, if you want to stand at your desk, that's no issues at all. You can literally just tilt it up towards you and stand at your desk. The other thing that I love is the fact that you can adjust it with ease. You know, I can change the direction of the monitor. I can also rotate it if I want it to be a portrait monitor or if I want to put it back into landscape. Again, just rotate it again and it locks into its position. It had no issues at all. The fact that it just glides into its position and then it just holds its position is fantastic. That was something that I played around with for a very long time. I kind of got caught up with adjusting the stand because it really is such a solid stand but as you glide it up, it literally just slides. It's almost like it's on, you know, roller skates. And then you think to yourself, well, it's probably gonna fall, you know, and you kind of tap it a bit and it still holds its position, you know, but then if you want it to go down a little lower, a tiny bit of force and it will glide back and sit in that position. And then, like I said, you can tilt the monitor up if you wanna stand at your desk. You can then adjust which direction the monitor's facing and it's ideal for really anything you want to do. You know, whether you've got it connected to a console, whether you've got it connected to your computer or a laptop, it just works in any condition and any situation. I also tested the monitor through the day and a lot of the other monitors I've tested don't do the best in direct sunlight. And I guess the fact that now the world is moving towards more, you know, working from home or open offices, you really need to account for direct sunlight because that can completely blow out the display and then you just can't concentrate because the display is not clear. That sunlight just penetrates the display and you don't know what you're doing. So the fact that this monitor here is actually amazing in direct sunlight, again, is phenomenal because a lot of people will be working from home. And I know that when the sun's coming down in the afternoon, I have direct sunlight on my monitors. The other two, you know, I have to pull the curtains for the most part, but with this monitor here, I had no issues. And I love the fact that I could do that. You know, I could literally have it in direct sunlight, have a bit of sun on me so I didn't have to kind of hide away in my little dungeon but I could have that direct sunlight and it didn't actually affect my experience with the monitor. The ThinkVision P27H-20, yes, that's right, it's a mouthful, that's the model number of the ThinkVision monitor. It has a viewing angle of 178 degrees. So again, I tested this when I was playing some games and when I was you know, using it connected to my laptop and no matter what angle I was in, I could 
pretty much see the monitor clearly. You know, there were no issues when I was sitting off to the side of it, when I was sitting directly in front of it, or even like far, far to the side. Like it has a phenomenal viewing angle of 178 degrees and the colors are remarkable. I love all of the options that are available. That was something that I played with for quite a long time. I had to look through all the different settings within the monitor itself. And this was when I was just connecting it to my Xbox to play some Call of Duty. And there were so many options. I love all the different color options that are built into the monitor. And the colors from the monitor were also remarkably true to life. I had no issues with the options that were available to me. I left it at default for you know the first portion of my test. And again, no issues, it was fantastic. But then as I played through the settings and had a look at what options were available, I was blown away again because there are so many options for the colors within the actual monitor. So that was just when it was connected to my Xbox. That menu system is intuitive and easy to use. And I've played with lots of monitors in the past and that's not the case. They're normally quite cumbersome and awkward to navigate but the menu system is easy as to navigate. At the base of the monitor, there's a tiny little cutout there, and that's designed to be a phone holder. Now, it doesn't do the best job if your phone is in portrait mode. You can kind of lean it up against the stand and it will, you know, do a decent job, but it kind of wants you to set it up in that landscape mode. But I thought that actually worked really well. You know, I showed in my video that I was watching a YouTube video down there, and then I was playing Call of Duty on top. So that was great because I know a lot of people would be doing that. They'd have some sort of video down here, especially those millennials out there and those Gen Xs, Gen Z, Gen Y, whatever we're up to now they I know will want to multitask. So to have a YouTube video down the bottom or to have something down the bottom that you can scroll through in between, you know, different games or watching something like whatever you're doing on the main monitor, that's just ideal to have that set up. Another thing that I really liked was the built-in speakers. So this is something that other monitors seem to overlook and they don't bother to add built-in speakers. But the fact that the ThinkVision monitor has built-in speakers that are actually half decent, they're a nice rounded sound, and they do a great job in all the situations I tested, you know, watching YouTube videos, playing games, and just kind of browsing through the internet, doing my usual kind of things. Something may pop up, a sound or a video, or when I'm playing games, and it was great. You know, I had it at like 80% a lot of the time, even at 50% volume, it was really nice. And like I said, fully rounded. There were a lot of kind of depth to the sounds and yes it's not the most amazing speaker in the world you can definitely get something better but i think if you don't have speakers at home this could be a really good starting point because you're getting a monitor with a speaker already built in so you don't have to worry about buying speakers as well it's a really good kind of all-round package there when it comes to the connection types that are available through the monitor, this was another thing that really impressed me. There are a ton of connection options here, and the fact that I can use the USB-C port and I can charge an external device or product with that port from the monitor is extremely impressive. So in the test that you can see, I'm playing Call of Duty, so it's not connected to a computer, it's literally just connected to the power board, and then I've got Call of Duty playing, and then I've plugged in a USB-C to the back of the monitor, and I've plugged it into my Osmo Action, which is an action camera, and from the monitor's power, it will actually charge my Osmo Action. That is super useful. That's something that everyone would want. It's actually a smart use for a port to actually have it as a charging port from your monitor, and to have it as a USB-C, which is becoming more of the standard nowadays, is extremely useful. The fact that you know you can use an Android device, you can use an Android tablet, or any other USB-C device and charge it from the monitor, again, is a really nice touch. I, I really do love that. And again, if you're using a phone, you can have it sitting in that little cradle and charging it at the same time from the monitor. Really smart and super efficient. It's actually something that is useful, you know, like you actually need something like that. So again, it's not a gimmick. They've really thought about so many aspects of, you know, how people use their monitors and what's useful about having a monitor. And they've really nailed all of those features. And then on top of that, it has a HDMI port. It has a DP port. It also has an ethernet port, which again is really handy and something that is extremely useful to have that 
built into the monitor. A lot of computers might not have an ethernet port or a lot of laptops might not have that available to them. So to have that on the monitor itself, again, is just really useful and something that makes a lot of sense moving forward when people are working in open offices or working from home. And like I just said, their computer might not have an ethernet port. So to have that built into the monitor makes again the world of difference. You plug it straight into the monitor and you're ready to go. There's also a USB 3 port, which is designed for upstream through the USB type C and four USB 3 ports for downstream. And you also have one audio out, which is the 3.5 millimeter jack. Again, so many options here, tons and tons of connectivity with this monitor. And then you also have a strap around the back of the stand and that does a great job of actually managing the cables to hold it down the stem of the actual stand and then have it tucking out the back. So again, cable management is nicely done with just such a basic strap that just kind of loops around the back and then clips in. That simple and you've got all your cables going down the back and out the back of your either desk or you know table or whatever you're using. These things are all so well thought out. You know, they've clearly thought about how people are gonna be using a monitor, what people need with a monitor, and what other monitors aren't offering. So overall, this 27 inch monitor is really everything you need in the modern world. The fact that it has that many options for connectivity blew my mind. I was not expecting that many options. I love that I can charge a device from the monitor's power itself. I love the fact that I can plug in an ethernet if I don't have that on my laptop, which a lot of laptops don't. I love the fact that it's such a beautiful near edgeless display, like a 27 inch monitor, 16 by nine, and it's gorgeous. It just looks so beautiful. The colors are true to life. And I love all the options that are available within the settings. It's so easy to adjust the settings, play around with the colors and have that perfect option that you're looking for. I also love how versatile the stand is and how easy it is to just adjust the height or the angle that you want it to be on, or even if you want to tilt it up and you want to stand at your desk, it's no issues at all. It's like a no brainer. You don't even have to think about it and worry about, well, how am I gonna move the monitor here? And is it gonna move that far away? And how high is it gonna be on my desk? That's the issue I've had with other monitors I've bought where they're kind of set in their position. You have a tiny bit of adjustment. You can move them up the tiniest bit but you don't have many options. So when you buy a monitor, sometimes it's a bit of a gamble. You hope that it's gonna work well on your desk, but with the ThinkVision 27 inch monitor, it just works in any condition. I love the fact that it's got so much range of motion. I can tilt it right up. I can, you know, pivot it and move it in all directions. And then if you really want, you know, you can rotate it and have a portrait monitor that can just sit in the backdrop displaying some news or whatever you want it to do. For me, I wouldn't be using that. I'd be using it in landscape for all the things that I'd be doing. But the fact that you have that option as well is great. You know, they haven't limited it. They've given you every option you want just in case you want it. And then like I mentioned before as well, the speakers are great. You know, it does a great job of all the tests that I put it through, YouTube videos, games, and other random sounds that would pop up when I'm on the internet or on different websites. I had no issues, you know, it was a great experience overall and it really is everything you need in a monitor. I have been blown away. I did not think I would be that excited about a monitor again. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I thought it was just a monitor. Like how can a monitor be advanced? How can it be exciting? But they've really thought about everything here. One of the best monitors I think I've ever tested and the fact that it has everything you need means that you know, it's perfect for all situations. And I think if you're looking for a new monitor, this is probably the one you should look into because it has everything you want. It's future-proofed. It has so many ports available. You have options out of the wazoo and it's great. So let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. I've been really thoroughly impressed with this. I'd love to know in the comments below though, are you considering this monitor? Does it have everything you think you need in a monitor? Were you blown away that they could put this much into a monitor? Like, again, it still plays in my mind, like this is just a monitor. How have they thought about all of this? There's so much going on here, it's really exciting. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day. And I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.